This is one of three videos discussing GIS shapefiles and Google Earth Pro. In this video, we discuss using GIS shapefiles in Google Earth Pro without a style template. These videos were made possible by America View, Virginia View, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, Colorado Mesa University, and Virginia Tech's College of Natural Resources and Environment. Funding for this project was made possible by the United States Geological Survey under grant number G14AP00002. The contents of this video and the related tutorial are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not represent the official views of the U.S. Geological Survey. Mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement by the United States government. This video accompanies Chapter 3 in a written tutorial titled Exploring Our Planet with Open Source Software. You can find the written tutorial at virginiaview.cnre.vt.edu slash education or at americaview.org slash exploring our planet. Open Google Earth Pro Go to File and Import. Navigate to the folder where you have unzipped the files that we downloaded in the video on finding shapefiles to use in Google Earth Pro. You may not initially see the files, so you will need to change the file type. You can identify an ESRI ESRI shapefile you will then see the shapefile. Or you can choose all, but you will see more files than you need. In either case, choose the rivers in Southeast Asia shapefile, then click open. You will get the following dialog box, data import. We will not explore each one of these options. You can find these in the written tutorial. For this video, choose Import All. The next thing you will see is this dialog, dialog box. For this video, click No. We do not want to apply a style template to the features. We will discuss style templates in the next video. The file loads into Google Earth Pro. It is in the table of contents, but you don't see anything in the map document window. The file is in temporary places, but it is not checked, so you don't see it. Check the box. The file and all the features are now turned on and visible. Each line segment that you see displayed is a separate feature. You can click on any of the lines in the map document window and receive information on that particular segment. As you can see, each segment has details including the type of stream, in this case perennial slash permanent, and the country in which it is located, and in this case, Thailand. If you expand the caret in the table of contents in front of rivers in Southeast Asia, you can see again that each individual line segment is a separate feature. As an example, we have turned off a few of these line segments. In other words, we unchecked the individual box in front of each segment in the table of contents. Here is another example. This is a zoomed in example of one segment that is turned on. And the same line segment is now turned off. Using GIS files, especially those with a large number of features, such, such as the rivers in Southeast Asia, can be difficult without using a style template. You can use a GIS file without a style template if you only have a small number of features. 
So in the next video, we will show you how to use a style template and how it changes your ability to import and use GIS files in Google Earth Pro. If you have any questions with regards to this video or the accompanying written tutorial, please contact Dr. Tammy Paris at Colorado Mesa University or Dr. James Campbell at Virginia Tech. The email addresses are shown on the screen.